Thank you for watching our tech. Uh, today we are going to review uh, the SanDisk, uh, sorry, the Stronium uh, micro SD card, uh, which is uh, of the 64 GB capacity. Uh, I ordered this online, and this was not the option I actually chose. I wanted the one which had uh, the same card with uh, an OTG option, right? So, so the uh, you know seller actually sent me the one with the card reader along with the SD card adapter, but this is not an OTG uh, adapter. So I wasn't really happy with that, but luckily for me, he had thrown this extra piece of equipment in the in the uh, <clears throat> in the box. And this is an OTG card reader, so it's got the option to plug this in your mobile as well as you know uh, USB port, and it's got the card reader here, <clears throat> you know card uh, card uh, reader slot, so this can do the job of both. So not a bad deal and uh, so let's come back to the card so this is uh, a nitro version of the Stronium uh, 64 GB card it is a class 10 card and uh, it is USS 1 certified as well uh, it, it's very similar to that uh, of uh, SanDisk just that this writes much faster it's 85 MB per, per second uh, whereas the SanDisk uh, class 10 ultra cards write at about 45 now we don't know if that speed really holds good in the real world, but we'll do a test and you know we'll find out. Features of this card are very similar to that of um, you know the SanDisk. It's this is waterproof, this is temperature proof, um, X-ray proof, magnet proof, everything as similar as your Samsung or your SanDisk. Only thing is that this writes at about 85 Mbps, uh, Mbp, uh, Mb per second. Sorry, so that's a lot faster than what SanDisk is offering at the same price range. So SanDisk offers uh, the Class 10 Ultra cards at about 45. So this can do uh, speeds up to 85. I mean, in real world, that's very hard to imagine, but it's a much faster card for you know a lesser price. And you would see that it's got UHS-1 compliance and it's a Class 10 card, as I told you. And it's a Stronium, so I don't know how many of us actually trust this brand as compared to a SanDisk, which everybody is familiar with. Anyway, let's uh, we'll do a compare uh, in terms of read write speeds, uh, just to compare this with a SanDisk micro SD card of the same class. So uh, I just pulled out the cover uh, of this, uh, just to show you how how uh, they pack this. The packing is not really. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I could just knock, knock it off without any anything, and you know, if someone actually replaces this card with another one, you wouldn't even know. So, here's the adapter. This is the, you know, uh, card reader which they've given with this particular device, and uh, it's just plastic. But you know, it's all right in terms of uh, build quality. Uh, we have an SD card adapter. I think many of you all seen this as well. Uh, again, nothing great about that, but uh, it, it's coming free with the card, so that's good. And uh, this is the card. It's actually stacked inside. I'm just trying to see if I can get that. Okay, so that's that's the card, and it's it's got that yellow shade, unlike the SanDisk, which usually has a red shade and the gray shade for the Ultra cards. Anyway, we'll do a test and find out if. Uh, this can deliver the speeds it's promising. So that is guys, if, if you really want a little bit more speed and uh, you know cost uh, consideration, I think the Nitro 566X from Stronium is much faster than the Ultra um, you know, uh, micro SD card from Sandus. So thank you so much for watching. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and you know uh, format these two discs. Uh, you can see the 16 GB as well as the 64 GB Stronium card here. And um, okay, I'm just going to format them just to ensure that you know both are empty. So usable data is about 60 GB. <coughs> Sorry, yeah. <coughs> so it does take a, a bit of time to format this, and it's an NTXS, of course. So. Right. There you go. It's complete.
<coughs> yeah, now let's go to the SanDisk. <coughs> yeah, and uh, it's got about 16 GB of capacity, but both of the class 10 cards. So I'm going to format this again, and this should do faster. Yeah, it's done. Okay, I'm going to close this. Now, I just wanted to show you the property. So it has, I mean, even though 64 GB, you see that there is some bit of space, which is always used by any kind of storage device. And I uh, just want to ensure that, you know, uh, I'm doing, uh, I'm <laughs> using the right disk for the test. Okay, so I'm using Speedout version 0.5, and uh, it's one of those free tools I got in the market. So I'm selecting Estonium for the test, first test. So let's go ahead and start this. So you can see the reading test coming out on the left of the two windows there. <clears throat> and the writing speed is also shown on the right. So it's about 19 MB per second, average 19.5, and writing is about 18 on an average. I'll do it thrice, so let's do it again. Let's go number 20 now, as you can see, 19.7. Writing is at about 18 and a half MB. A little less than that, of course. One more time. 19 and a half. Read them. And writing is at about 18 MB per second. So I would say, yeah, the average is about 19.63 and 17.68. So let's go ahead to the, you know, sand disk. Let's find out if this works better or worse. Wow, it's still, the sand is still writing at 20, 19 and a half, 20, wow, that's about 19.8 MB. And the write test is about, I keep getting this not responding message, but it comes back after a while. Okay, so the write test is about 9 MB for the sand disk. Let's do it again, 19.7, and writing is at about... Nine. Wow. Let's see if what the average runs out. About ten Mbps. Okay, that's that's about seven MB less than your Sandisk. Last test. Nineteen point eight. Writing at about nine ten. Whoa. There's a massive difference. That's about 9.83 MB per second. So you can imagine the Stronium is much faster than the SanDisk of the same class. And in fact, it's cheaper as well. I'm going to do this again just to be sure that you know, I didn't do anything wrong here. And uh, yeah, the Stronium is much faster. I'm doing it again for the sand disk. Wow. Okay, it does read at a very good speed, but it doesn't write at that speed. It just writes at about 9 MB per second, I guess, 9 to 10. So that's a good indication that uh, the Nitro component in the Stronium um, memory cards are much faster. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's just obvious that um, there's, a, there's a big difference in the performance. There you go, I'm just doing the sand disk again. Yeah, it's not crossing 10.9, so... <sighs> there's no way that's going to beat the nitro, uh, Nitrox card from Stronium. Twelve. Okay. If you average this to another real world test on this, so what I've done is I'm just going to copy some files onto these cards. The sand is on top, so I'm copying a movie called Trade. Share the speed. It's about 10 MB to 11 MB per second, and. Uh,
So the the speed test app is really good. I mean, it, it's showing the accurate speed. That was average writing speed. Okay, so. I mean, I'm just going to do this test till the end so that we get an accurate view. Just about 11 MB. I think it's is where this card can write at. Come on. Okay, it's almost done. Now let's check the same file onto the Stronium. There you go. 16, 17, 18, 16. Yeah, so it it does write at about the speed which we just checked. So 16 to 17 MB is what it can write at. That's a lot faster. Much faster. As you can see, the previous file took such a long time to copy on the SanDisk, but this is going so much faster. Definitely a big change. Now, I'm not an expert in uh, memory writing, but I'm just wondering why they would say um, the card writes at 85 MB per second. I think given SanDisk has promised something similar. Let's copy another file. Sanders says uh, they'll write files at about 45, but it doesn't do anywhere close to that. Okay, I'm just copying another movie. Let's see if this file copies faster. All about 600 MB, 700 MB. Okay, this is about a GB. We're not going to wait till the end. So the speed is again very fluctuative. It's not consistent. Okay, it's coming back to the same speed, about 11 MB. Okay, I'm going to stop this now. Let's try it on the sand disk. Wow, it straight away goes to 17, 16. Nearly 5 MB faster. That's so cool. I'm going to close this again. So, 